Off sunset. Really, really nice to be camping in the desert again. Mostly carrot, but we'll call it veggie curry with um, plenty of peanut butter stirred in at the end because everyone knows that peanut butter makes everything better. I've been in the habit of drinking, right. drinking my wash up water if I think I might be kind of close with water. One appetit or up some just fucking food. The good stuff. I'm about 200 k's into the dirt and a little bit of interestingness I've uh, managed to crack my frame in a couple of places a chance to test my bodgy 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 welding setup I guess Here goes, I guess. I've done my welds. They're uh, they're pretty terrible. It's sort of together. They're shit welds, but they're there. <sighs> See how it goes. Yeah, they're pretty bird shitty. I stopped at a closed roadhouse, thinking, yeah, they'll, maybe there'll be someone there. Everyone's got a welder. Was greeted. This guy came out on his lawnmower, two crutches down the side, and a big rifle across his lap, and um, he said, "Yeah, nah, sorry, we don't got nothing. Try the mine. I've only done 350 of dirt. Yeah, you know, yeah, healthy 350-ish to get out to here, and, and then I was full of cracks. So. I think it's meant to be forecast to be 37 today, which will be a bit warm. In my mind, at least, the uh, the tanami is a hard bit." And then the canning is the very hard bit, or the very, very hard bit, realistically. Today I crossed the border into WA, which was really cool. Um, and now I'm sitting out in the middle of the road, because why not? Um, and it looks like it's raining over there. I should get That's freaking sick. Over into WA now. Just been driving along this gravel road for three, uh, 300 k's, and they tell you. Uh, to be aware that the road is in fact gravel. Well done, well done. <laughs> what a view I've made of the longest time line. 
Oh, I'm, I'm still waiting for tyres. Still 40k south of Hall's Creek. I'm waiting and there's nothing I can do and I may as well enjoy it while I'm here. It's just rained, which is awesome. Stripped naked and had a run around for a bit. And yeah, it is, it's pretty specky. Especially now watching everything clear away, it's, it's quite amazing. I think I might be ready for the cutting, but I have absolutely no idea. It will be so hard. It will be, I, I, I am very sure that it will be extremely hard. Best case scenario is I make it through and it's hard. Half the when people I, I speak to out here are like, oh, oh, good on you, good on you. It'll be a great challenge for you. It'll be an interesting trip. And the other half like, I don't know if you should be doing that. Like you're looking at the pamphlets and they're like, this is one of the most, the toughest and most remote four wheel drive tracks on the planet. Just a little bit nerve wracking again on a dodgy homemade solar bike from scrap metal. And uh, even just sitting looking at it, just the same as when I was building it. I can't look at a piece of that trailer without imagining it failing. It's really strange finally being this close to the start of it. I have got uh, no idea what's gonna happen. I've just got absolutely no idea. I'm rambling now and the sunset is awesome. And I'm just rambling because I can. Living Halls Creek, my last real town for fuck, a month maybe. into the dunes they're hard they are really hard work really fucking hard I, in my mind now I'm just trying to get to Kunawarji if I can get to there I'll be happy I only just got up that and that's nothing everything is sore just everything there are almost as many people that have tried to do the canning in in some unconventional ways there are people that have failed to do the canning in some unconventional way. There's a good reason for that. Fuck. It's hard. came a cropper getting a bit of speed up for a sand dune which I don't know how I didn't break heaps of stuff it's hard it's really fucking hard part of me it's not quite looking for an excuse to bail but partly looking for an excuse to bail if the bike breaks catastrophically now I don't care it's a really good excuse to bail. I don't know why I did this. Yeah, it's gonna be a really long slog. Really, really fucking long slog. If I make it there at all, I've got no idea if I'll make it there. Oh, looking at maps would be exciting. Now it starts to fill me with dread. Oh well, if I can just keep going forwards and just keep going forwards, keep going forwards, then I will make it. I'm not entirely bailing. I'm obviously not ready to do that now because I'm not heading back the other way. Woo -hoo!
especially yesterday I started to get into it, this mental shift of instead of just, all right, get up at dawn, go, have a bit of a break when the sun's good, and then just go, 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 uh, to, okay, no, if you make 50Ks in a day, that's awesome. Brakes are totally fine, especially if the panel's tilted. If you're worn out, brake. and the sunrise is gorgeous and birds are chirping and I've got Lake Tobin in a bit which will be interesting because it's rained and it's a lake. My friends, I give you Lake Tobin. Look at that lake, look at that bike and look at that lake. And then maybe more to the point. Look at that mud road. Doesn't that road look like it'll be fun? So I'm, uh, I'm well and truly into Lake Tobin. The, uh, the mud's pretty vicious. Oh, my poor chain. Look at that. Oh, and camels. The camels are awesome. They're a little bit scary, especially after reading tracks and listening to um, her descriptions of how aggressive bull camels can be. The bulls can be a bit scary, and yeah, I had a bull walking over not that far away from me. Big things, big, big animals. Pointing out again that the reason it's corrugated is because lots of cars drive along it. Cars with suspension that go fast. Just saying, that's why it's corrugated. Just bouncing over the corrugation. It sucks a bit. You get kind of over it. It'd be really nice if people didn't choose to corrugate the road. I've had my first cracked weld of, uh, of the canning itself. And just along the edge of there, we've got the beginnings of a, uh, of a crack forming. So we'll just uh, buzz them up. So what we've got, we've got a lot of really terrible welds, um, some very terrible welds, some bird shit welds, some bad weldoids, and just, just kind of B-grade weld, which I'm really proud of. Oh my god, look at that, the road goes that way. I can't explain how exciting that is right now. After pushing through that straight line for the last 25 k's, I get to turn around on the flat-ish for a bit. It's really, really exciting. What we're doing is it's getting scooped out, filtered through a hat, then we'll throw some purification stuff in it. So initially it smells a bit like poo. This one works pretty badly. This one over here is cranking. This it would be amazing. The flies are just everywhere. Just everywhere. Fucking flies. You can get over flies. I've got a bit of a hole in the bum of my pants. It's quite the hole. How's that patch for a start? I have to get that sign, Port Edwards, just down the road, only 750. And uh, Alice, Alice 110, 110 up that way. <laughs> Middle of fucking nowhere. So yeah, Brecky. Awesome big chunk of damper. It's a little bit dark on the other side. Still, oh, fuck you. But I often get to the point where I'm actually kind of looking forward to some dunes. Just sometimes even looking forward to a hauling dune, you know, like one where you have to take the trailer off and haul it up. A hauler. Just because it's nicer to do one of those than be on the corrugations and it's a nice break. It's still a hell of a long way to go. But I keep thinking, uh, yeah, really starting to think that it might be possible. 
I might actually make it a flower. Add a flower to my food. I'm getting there. This is the good thing. This is awesome. Yesterday was well and truly cloudy. We've got time to kill. And it's cool, which means that it's breakfast time. Flour. Heap of milk powder. Sugar if I can be bothered. Oh yeah. Big pile of pancakes to eat, which is gonna be awesome. Disappointment. It's real nice. It is real good. Textbook canning solid. Found my panny. A lot of strife this panny. It's giving me a bit more. Pretty catastrophic hole. But I'm reckoning I'm just gonna fill it with cable ties. Only 500 and a bit k's to go, which is not much. Yeah, might actually make it. I might actually make it. Fucking wet. I don't think I can explain how wet it is, other than very wet. It's the middle of the desert, and it is exceptionally wet. Yes, that, uh, that looks shallow and shallow and uh, hard. It's a bit of a, it's the beginning of really, really well and truly, it's the beginning of the end. They've almost started to come. Oh, I, part of me thinks I'll almost miss them. I almost could turn around and go and do it again. I'm not going to. Fuck that. That's how you want it to be. Basically at the end of the dunes. It is beautiful, it is beautiful riding. It's a tiny bit crisp still, but the sun's really warm and lovely and nice and nothing's broken for a bit. It's so nice, it's so good. And I made it this far. <laughs> I've only got five worlds to go. Last night I heard this, oh, there was a bit of a, bit of a noise coming from my, um, from one of my wheels. Pulled it apart this morning at breakfast. It's like, ah, back. Yeah, broken axle. And then I got another 2Ks down the road to where I am now and discovered that I had a flat tyre on the other side. These tyres are exceptionally hard to get on and off. Yeah, but the amount of air in that is a lot less than the amount of air in that. I'm at well to a 45Ks, no, 40Ks from the main road. I actually started falling apart. I discovered a wire that had the wire had broken. And then while I was doing that, discovered this uh, crack in the well, crack in the frame. So I'll fix that and then deal with the tire on the bike. It's, the bike's saying I've had enough. It's probably, probably my last night on the canyon. Notice that my, um, I've lost my voice a bit. That's, I, th I had like, I had a half hour swearing match with the bike and I won. Definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. Amazing and beautiful and wonderful and it's been awesome and terrible and shit house and spectacular and fantastic. <laughs> I appear to have fucking made it. <laughs> I appear to have just done the canning stock route on a solar bike. <laughs> I know that's, I've seen that sign in so many photos and it is so cool to actually finally see it. Especially with that in front of it. Ooh! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha I can made it! This way the four wheel drive.
drives came through a bit ago, picked up one of my drink bottles that I dropped. One of them said, like, yeah, so is, it's, is this your only bottle? Have you got other ones as well? I'm not sure whether it should be an insult to my intelligence or Oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. Ooh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck, I need to deal with that. I don't know, I spent a significant period just before um, wearing underpants on my head. Can't just have all that water go to waste evaporate into the air. Had a, so I had like two or three pairs of clean-ish, I believe. Yeah, clean. Historically clean. Underpants full of water. So you just get them and you put them on your head and they'd be cool and wonderful and it was great. But yeah, underpants on your face.